What's up everybody? T-Bird from Natural Selection Tour. This is Behind the Battles. This is an in-depth look from the riders themselves of all the runs and all the head-to-heads that went down at the Yeti Natural Selection in Jackson Hole. We pit them together in the studio so they can give us a rundown of what went down when they were head-to-head -head on hill. Travis Rice and Kevin Backstrom. Travis Rice is looking locked in. Don't poke the bear! Kevin Backstrom just put Travis Rice on notice. In what I thought was one of the most unique matchups of the Yeti Natural Selection in Jackson Hole, in the first round, we had Travis Rice on his home resort versus Kevin Backstrom, who flew all the way over from Europe and got pitted up head to head against Travis himself. It was an interesting matchup because their riding styles are different, but their approach is the same. And they're two of the best backcountry snowboarders alive. And when I saw that this one went to a tiebreaker, when I was in the booth calling this live, I was beyond stoked to get an extra run of snowboarding and see how this thing would all play out. So let's go into the studio and get Travis and Kevin's live reactions for what was going through their heads as it all unfolded. Mr. Backstrom. Travis, how you doing? Pleasure. Same dog. Uh, uh, Travis Rice, live here in Jackson. Obviously quite the hometown advantage. Kevin Backstrom from Gothenburg, Sweden. Uh, it's been a pleasure being here riding Travis Home Resort Jackson. All right, well, psyched to recap this. Let's do it. Well, here we go. Travis Rice and Kevin Backstrom. Having to drop first. I mean, in theory, you're in a better position dropping second, but I also didn't really have to worry about thing. I just knew I had to try to put a run down and rolling in here. You know, you kind of, first off the takeoff, kind of a question on what conditions are. I landed normally where you'd want to land in the landing, right in the middle of it, but found myself going straight for 15 feet and instantly had too much speed to even. Especially that one looked really fast, like coming into the second hit. Yeah, not a great way to start your run, but it was nice that you could kind of snake over into this little feature. And that one you got perfect. Kind of just trying to get, get comfortable with the speed. You know, testament to the snow, like you had to be so applied. Like I, I just, I let my guard down for a split second, you know, hop switch and was like, okay, I got a second to prepare before I hit this feature and immediately wasn't paying attention. Tail went below the crust and done. Felt like the snow was so different in so many places too, like. It was variable. Yeah. I mean, you know, we basically had like a little bit of a sun crust with like five inches of pretty light density snow to like another hard layer that had bumps in it. This is really tricky snow. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure it must have been. Uh, yeah. Must have been nice watching me crash a few times, yeah. being like, okay, all right, all right. I still did the run I was planning to do on my first one. I was so nervous on this uh, before the first run, though. Dude, my legs were shaking. It was just like, whoa. Hope I put something down. But if you don't know the speed to anything and like how the snow is gonna be in the landings, here we're going into to the first hit. Made Bolts. it over, thank God, and then felt this little bomb. I was scared about the hip, because I didn't know if like what the speed was gonna be like. Mm -hmm. But barely made it over there. Wow. That's a little sketchy. Coming into this one. Old Bodie's hit. That's why I was thinking before, should I go left side or right side? But I decided left side, but then for my second run, like I switched it up to the right side so it wasn't too much impact in the landing. And then yeah, this big guy here just wanted to do the front side 360. I was really scared before hitting this one too. Yeah, bolts and obviously you ride away from that and you're like. It felt nice, yeah. felt good. I thought it was gonna be more impact in the landing mm -hmm. since it wasn't that much powder, but it worked out nice. No mystery here. I ended up with a 79 there on my first run. Unfortunately, Travis had that fall in there, so. 
Or fortunately. Yeah. Dude, after a full run like that, my legs, like shit. I think I told you after each run, like it was crazy. They were burning so much. But you know, you, you get down this run and it's like, all right, you're warmed up. Yeah. Now you're ready. He told you explicitly that he wants to be in the conversation Thank come Alaska. Uh, and you got to make top seven to do that at this event. Yeah, I mean, of course there's a lot of, pr a lot of pressure. It's like, all right, drop in first, I already lost one life. And um, I don't know, I guess I knew I had to put a good run down because I felt there's no doubt that he's going to step up his next run. Are we going to get our first tiebreaker performance? Yeah, and, and this one, because of how tight those, those first two features were, I was gonna try to do this again, land a little higher up on the tranny, and then cut right, and I wanted to tap this like pillow, which everything here worked great. Like boom, awesome Dude, little nose bonk. That and one then was so sick. Those features are so tight together that I lost trajectory. <laughs> I knew I was just pancaking the street. Aw. And then, you know, you. Planted it back there in the snow. Parents taught me to clean up after myself. I didn't want to just leave that busted ass tree. Like. <laughs> so That was nice of you. You know, at this point, it's like trying to salvage the rest of a run. You know, boom. I knew there was like a pretty good patch of, of snow right down there, which there was. Going switch into this didn't work out for me last time. So I thought I'd just go back five first tracks off this, which, oh. I mean, it was it was a bit of a Hail Mary. Like, originally I was probably just gonna do a back three or something on it, and I knew because I freaking snapped that tree that I had to at least, I had to at least try something that was a little bit more risky, so. Put it down good, looked nice. It was just okay. Just that one okay. little tree incident, the rest was amazing, dude. Pretending that my legs aren't tired right <laughs> here. <laughs> I mean, at this point I was kind of just like, all right, this is, this is Kevin's to lose right now. Coming into my second run, in my head I had planned from the beginning to do like a front seven on the last hit, but then I saw Travis go down on that tree. So I was like, just land a run, do the front three again on the last hit. See, I hear I'm going for the same again as I did in my first run. Go front 180 to switch back one. Which, yeah, I mean, epic flow into this thing. Thank Landed you. deep in the tranny. Little shifty, and then yeah, coming into Lando's hip here. I land and I butt check. And Which yeah, I, not a full crash, but. Yeah. I, I kind of went down. And then for here, for the Bodhi's hit, I switched it up to the right one. Still st stomped it beyond the tranny. And here I went for the front three shifty again. Boom, stomp. I think you landed maybe a hair deeper on that one. Should have gone for the front seven right away since I, you know, went down on the hip. Yeah. You know, in my head, I was like, ah, oh. I literally snapped a tree, threw it to the side of the run. You know, in my head, I'm, I'm like, ah, oh. say la vie. I went Damn down it, up. but I bought check for sure. I didn't think it was gonna go to a third run here. Here. Oh, oh, serious? Let's go for it. All right, one more run. Love it. And like I was saying, I, I was sitting at the bottom just thinking about the kind of break and flow of my run, and I was like, got oh, it. That, that was it. We both went down. You landed switch on your last back five, like it's not easy landing switch in there. Travis saw what Kevin put down, wasn't quite sure what he put down, but you know, right there, we're going to our first tiebreaker. Round three, let's go. Like pressure's off. I, I thought that I, that was it. So now I get this bonus run. So make it count. Don't leave anything on the table. You sure didn't. And you know, like the run before, felt like I had better control like after this first feature. And so I felt like I could try and connect the dot on these two features this time. You know, this 
this was a particular feature where like if the snow was better it would have been quite a bit easier but wow dude you went huge on that one looked uh, so fast in there look crazy and i was like all right pay attention don't catch your damn tail and rolling into this um again man there there was not that much pop off this thing so you had to go fast and i mean i threw this as hard as i possibly could such a good run dude that was amazing that was so good thank you it, it's a decent run being able to put it all together mr backstrom he's got every bit of what it takes sounds good man you got it I saw how perfect he put everything down. I was like, all right, I'm just gonna try to do my best here. So yeah, same as my first couple rounds, front one to the switchback one. And then I wanted to up it here a little bit on the bump, throw in a backflip. And that jump wasn't really bumpy, so you really had to throw yourself backwards. And here we come to the Lando's hip. Wanted to try and go as big as I could. Which, super impressive that you recovered that. Thank you, man. Basically almost missing the whole tranny. And, and here, then... I fucked it up on the, on the boaties. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I just didn't get the rotation and it is what it is. And then you can actually see here, Going down to the last feature, I'm like holding my legs together, trying to go slow, get some energy back. And yeah, now I was like, I gotta throw this seven here to even have a chance to get up in your your scores. Which, I mean, one of the tricks of the entire day. Like the front Thank seven. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. So style. Full commit, like tail grab, core. Kevin Backstrom just put it down. Huge takeaway right there for Kevin. I, I literally, I didn't know which way this was going to go. No? And I was psyched for it, just that those two runs back to back, I think were the two cleanest of the day that far. I felt right away here that you, you had me on this one. I was just psyched that regardless of what the outcome was, like that was a battle and I was, Super good competition. Two two different lines, different parts of the venue. Yeah, I mean, you for me... A, you, you had a clean run. You had the cab five in there. You had like two fives doing a different line compared to a lot of other people. Oh! Yeah, oh. Wow. Congrats, man. Thanks for having me. You deserve that win, dog. That was good. The run was amazing. I appreciate it. Was it was an honor going up against you. It's like crazy. Been watching this guy for, I don't know, <laughs> since I was a little kid, all your video parts, and then go head to head, head up against you was just, yeah, it was a pleasure. It was fun. Well, everything you're putting out, like every year, steps it up. Um, Thanks so much, man. Likewise. <laughs> Good luck at the rest of the stops. Yeah. Hope everything goes well. It was a pleasure being here. Thanks to all of you guys for watching.